Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to control the colors of your visuals in your Power BI report dynamically using a slider. Now I have three different sliders here to control your hue, saturation and lightness. You can move around your slicer here and change the colors to your choice. You can also control the saturation of these visuals. If you want highly saturated visuals, you can go for a highly saturated one. If you need pastel colors, you can simply increase the lightness here and then play around with the hue here to change the colors of your choice. Now let's say that you have decided to use this pastel color but your data labels are no longer readable. That is why we have a slicer here to control your data label colors as well. So if you want to change the color and make them more readable you can simply click on black here and now your data labels are more readable. You can also have different colors of your choice but for this tutorial I'm using only two colors which is black and white and based on the color that you choose from this slider here you should be able to change the color of your data labels as well. So this is what we will be learning today so let's get started with this tutorial first of all let's start by adding in three different slicers to our report to control hue saturation and lightness which is nothing but the HSL so let's get started for let's go to the modeling tab I'm gonna click on new parameter here and select numeric range I'm gonna call the first parameter here as hue and this is going to be a whole number. The minimum here is going to be zero and the maximum here is going to be 360 increment of one. Let's keep the default at about 190 and then I'm gonna click on create. We've added our first slicer here. I'm gonna just reduce the size of this slicer and you can move around this. Of course, nothing is working now because we have to make some more changes to this. And now let's add another parameter. I'm gonna click on new parameter, select numeric range and then let's call this as saturation and this is going to be a whole number minimum is going to be zero and maximum here is going to be 100 and with the increment of one default let's keep it at 100 and then click on create we've got our saturation as well let's quickly resize this and now let's add our last parameter i'm going to click on numeric range again let's call this as lightness minimum here is going to be zero and maximum here can be 100 increment of one default let's keep it at 100 and then let's click on create and we've got all three of our sliders here, hue, saturation, and lightness. You can control the sliders here. And then I also added a little shadow to this so that it stands out from the background. And let's start by adding or creating a new measure now. Let's call this measure as chart color is equals to, let's start by defining in a variable here. I'm gonna call this variable as hue underscore is equals to, I'm gonna type in hue here and assign the hue value to my variable hue underscore. The reason why I'm using underscore here is because I already have a table name called hue and I cannot use the same name as a variable again. Now let's define another variable. I'm gonna call this as saturation underscore is equals to saturation value. I'm going to concatenate this with percentage sign and I'll tell you why I am doing this for saturation here. Let's define another variable. This time I'm gonna call this as lightness underscore is equals to lightness here and concatenate this also with the percentage sign here. Let's define our next variable here. I'm gonna call this as HSL is equals to and then I'm going to open double quotes here, type in HSL, open brackets and then I'm gonna close the quotes here followed by an ampersand. And within the HSL, we have to define the hue, saturation, and lightness values. So let's enter the hue here. So remember that you have two different values that pop up here. You will have to choose the variable that you are defining, which is hue underscore and not the hue value. So let's choose hue underscore followed by an ampersand. Open quotes, type in a comma here, close the quotes followed by an ampersand again. And this time it's going to be the saturation. Make sure that this is the variable that you are selecting saturation underscore and not the saturation value from our parameters. So if saturation underscore followed by an ampersand, I'm gonna open quotes again, followed by a comma, close the quotes, ampersand, and then type in the lightness, lightness underscore, which is our variable followed by an ampersand, open quotes, and then this time I'm gonna close the bracket that we had opened here for HSL, and then close the quote, and let's type in our return statement here. What is it that I want to return? I want to return our HSL value. So I'm gonna type in HSL and confirm. So let us see what is the result that we are getting out of this measure. I'm gonna bring in the chart color here into a card, and you can see that we have our HSL within the brackets here. I have my HSL value in my hue, 
saturation you notice that i have my percentage sign here for the hsl value i need to have percentage sign for both saturation and lightness that is why we concatenated that with percentage we have our saturation and then we have our lightness and this hsl is now also dynamic based on the selection that you make the values here will change automatically if i move the lightness here to about 47 you see that i've now got 47 percent on my hsl value now it's time for us to assign the hsl value to our chart so let's see how we can do that i'm going to get rid of this visual here and then go to my chart here Let's go to the bars and then let's scroll down, click on the little FX button here, which means conditional formatting from the format style. Let's choose field value and what field should this be based on. I'm going to choose the chart color measure that we created and then click on OK. Now you can see that the color has changed automatically of this visual based on the values that we have selected here. Let's move the hue value here and you will see that the colors have now started to change. You can also control the saturation from this slider here. You can control how saturated color that you want on your visual. And the last slider here is to control the lightness of that particular bar. If you need pastel colors here, you can increase the lightness, let's say to about 80%. And then you can also control the saturation here and then change the color of your choice. And now let's quickly add data labels to this visual. And you can see that when we've added data visuals, when you have darker colors, it is perfectly looking fine. But what if we increase our lightness to about, let's say 86%. And let's say if we choose to display the data labels all within the uh, visual inside uh, or inside end. And sometimes you might come across uh, scenarios where the data labels are not readable so let's give it an option here so that you can control the color of the data labels as well let's say that if you want to have blank data labels how do you do that or if you want to have white data labels how do you do that let's quickly add a table to control the colors of the data labels let's go to the home tab and select enter data here let's type in white and on the next row here let's type in black and let's give it a name here i'm going to call this as data label color and then click on load once this is loaded let's add this as our uh, slicer here let's rename the column also here as label color and then let's change the visual here to the new slicer that we have and now let's quickly add a measure here which will basically switch so i'm going to call this as data label is equals to i'm going to use an if statement here if my selected value of the data label color is equals to white, then the hex code for white is hash and six times F. And if this is not white, then I want to return black. For black, the hex code is six times zero. Three, four, five, six. Close the quotes, close the bracket and confirm. And let's go to our visual here under data labels i can now scroll down here to value and then click on the little fx button here select field value under format style here and from this drop down here let me go and choose data label and then click on ok and now when i choose black you will see that my data labels are now appearing in black and then when i click on white i have my data labels appearing in white so this is how you'll be able to create sliders to control the colors of your power bi report so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials